Hello, Brittany, Sarah, Gianna, possibly Joel, and Nick. Today is Monday, October 8th. It is cold weather outside, perfect weather for sweaters and scarves and soups. Tomorrow, October 9th, is Matt's birthday, so this weekend I threw him a surprise dinner. He had no clue. It was so exciting. I was, like, cooking and preparing all day, and he just thought it was, you know, regular dinner. There are three guys that are at the Divinity School that were at Florida Southern in Lambda Chi with Matt. So I invited them over. I made a uh, honey Dijon pork and it's awesome recipe with apples and sweet potatoes with like an almond brown sugar topping. Yeah, we made macaroni and cheese and had lots of biscuits. And then we played Pictionary and had a really fabulous time and then had root beer floats for dessert. And today I auditioned for the Divinity School like musical theater group. It's called Broadway Review. It's a musical theater production that all the proceeds go to benefit like a local um, charity organization. I don't know. It's an excuse to sing. So I had my audition today and I think it went pretty well. Um, here's a really blurry clip of me practicing if you want to hear the song. I am now in a jazz ensemble. I'm playing saxophone and learning how to like improv and be a cool jazz cat. So I'm not really that cool, but I like saxophone. That's my happy smile. Shanna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had a bad day. I hope the rest of your week got better. But I loved the penguin picture. I am Brittany. I really liked your uh, story idea. I thought that was a really great idea. Um, at first it was a little creepy because I thought, I thought that was your like way of surprising us and telling us you were pregnant. It just sounded that way. So just letting you know, but I like the story idea and I will continue it. Well, the doctor carefully cut the umbilical cord, which surprisingly started out visible from the mom and then slowly disappeared to connect where they thought it was attached to the child. The doctor cut the umbilical cord by feel. So really we have no idea what kind of belly button this, this poor child ended up with. They assumed it was still a girl because of the sonogram. So the parents named their baby girl Skylar and they wrapped her up in one of those hospital blankets and whisked her off to the NICU. Luckily, the blanket did not disappear, so they could still tell where the baby was. The parents were, the grandparents were really disappointed to not get baby pictures, but I mean, when the baby's invisible, you can't do a whole lot. Well, word quickly spread throughout the hospital that an invisible child had been born. And from the hospital, word quickly spread to you know who, the U.S. government. Dun, dun, dun. That's my duck face. Platypus? <laughs>